Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I'm gonna bring you a tour of someone's storage facilities. This is not where they keep all their food. That's in a more climate controlled area. Uh, this is underneath their house. Uh, it's sort of, most of it is crawl space. So behind that wall there is crawl space. Uh, pretty, pretty tall, but then it gets narrower and narrower. But this area, they actually had it blocked off. And I'll give you a tour. All right, the door is right behind me the ceiling is oh uh, it's probably a little less than seven foot tall and you can see he stored all his manuals here yeah he's in he uses pegboard you probably know what i use i use file cabinets but he put them all these here because when you need them you know where they are uh, so he's using every space available and that's uh use of the door things that he normally uses going across here uh, this is like hardware stuff, not food at all related. Um, but he's definitely more pegboard. Uh, he's just getting stocked up. So if things aren't available logistically uh, or things just get so expensive. And this person uh, married man, woman in their 70s. And they live in the country. So having extras is good. You don't have to jump in that car, drive 30, 40 minutes to a store uh, to get what you need. It's already here. They do have a bunch of hardware, some gardening stuff. There's toilet paper in those containers there. And then swing around. There's two chairs in here. This, because if they get severe weather, they can come down here. This is so much safer uh, than staying in their house. And they got a couple power boxes. They got radio. They got a flashlight there for that. Um, I think that's some... Um, to go stuff if they got to get out of here quickly and then right next to them is they got some first aid stuff here so if they're down here and they're injured uh extra pair of reading glasses right there some moving blankets two generators just keep going across the room uh, and there's more pegboard he's trying to use every available space um you got ropes, that's a folding stretcher, chains, uh, just a lot more hardware, lots of, lots of stuff, but it's organized. So this is not being a hoarder. Um, all kinds of stuff that you're gonna need and that he uses. Uh, the difference between hoarding and having a stockpile is the way you store it, literally. That way, because he knows where everything is, he can find it, it's stored properly, you're not wasting stuff, you're not, you know, throwing something in the garage and you can't find it, so you have to go buy another one. Uh, he knows where to find it. Got a lot more rope here, some big rope there, some of their canning jars. That's a dehumidifier, so he can really maintain uh, moisture levels. One of their freezers, I think they got three freezers. Uh, this is one of their freezers. And then we come back to the door. So this is how they do it. Um, I'm trying to motivate you to get organized. I'm trying to motivate you uh, to get your stuff in order. So you can find it quickly in an emergency. That is the key. Finding your stuff quickly in an emergency. Properly storing it. Being a wise steward of what you were given. You got to be a wise steward. You got to take care of things. Got a fire extinguisher right there. You've got an alarm on the, the door. So not excessive. He's got a shop full of other stuff that, you know, is wood shop and then he's got a metal shop. But he still has some extras down here. Uh, using some type of water bottle or some type of bottle. Storing nails, that way he screws. Getting organized. I like his hardware setup. I'm big into hardware. So he's got pretty much anything he needs, needs to fix something. He has it here, he's got tape. I hope this motivates you. I hope this motivates you to get your stuff in order. Why Stewart's properly stored. I enjoy watching videos of people, how they store their stuff, what they store. So I, I hope you enjoy this also. Thanks for watching.